After an epic month long struggle and 35 minutes and 12 seconds of the longest match in tournament history, Koto Ibushi emerged as the G1 Climax 30 winner, perfectly embodying the catchphrase to be the one. Yet after three consecutive finals and back to back tournament victories, Koto Ibushi's work is not done. Now he heads to November 7th and Osaka's Edian Arena, where a vicious struggle for control and power begins as New Japan Pro Wrestling's best jockey for position on the way to the grand stage of Wrestle Kingdom 15. Let's look at the historical factors at play for Power Struggle. On November 7th, Kodo Ibushi finds himself a target, with a main event in the Tokyo Dome at stake in his battle with Switchblade Jay White. No stranger to historic moments on the road to Wrestle Kingdom, Ibushi is used to using Power Struggle to carve his destiny. At 2014's event, Shinsuke Nakamura successfully defended the IWGP Intercontinental Championship against Katsuyori Shibata in the main event and declared that he had run the deck of potential challenges. Responding to Nakamura's request for a Joker, Ibushi hit the ring with a thunderous German suplex, setting the scene for a Wrestle Kingdom 9 classic. <laughs> Back to the present, and Ibushi's opponent on November 7th, Jay White, has more than a little power struggle experience under his belt. It was in 2017 after Hiroshi Tanahashi stood tall in his own Intercontinental Championship defense that the world was introduced to the Switchblade, Jay White returning from excursion after months of mysterious videos. Instantly targeting the ace, White put himself on a controversial path and a tie to the Intercontinental Championship that he would carry into 2019's event. Successfully defending and setting up Wrestle Kingdom 14's double gold dash with Ibushi, Tetsuya Naito, and Kazuchika Okada. This year, White and Ibushi will be sure to shape the top of the card at Wrestle Kingdom 15. Jay White wasn't the first man to debut at Power Struggle after months of speculation. At the G1 Climax final in 2016, a countdown started on a massive stick of dynamite, a countdown that ran out in Osaka that November. The time bomb exploded to reveal Hiromu Takahashi, who instantly made a mark on IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Kishida. Three years later, and Hiromu again chose Power Struggles the scene to make a striking entrance, returning after a career threatening neck injury to make a characteristically intense reappearance and a challenge to the then Junior Heavyweight Champion. That champion has undergone a lot of changes in the past year. Will Ospreay transitioned to heavyweight in February of 2020 just as global conditions played havoc with the NJPW schedule. When the assassin returned to Japan for the G1 Climax, it was with an arrogant and self assured attitude, bound and determined to make an impact against Big Brother Okada, especially. His last match against Okada in the G1 saw a shocking finish as B. Priestley and the returning great Okan got involved. Okan's devastating eliminator laying out Okada as a new faction called the Empire appeared to be formed. Now, the former elite amateur wrestler turned fearsome conqueror Okan has his first singles match in Japanese rings against Okada, as this new faction seeks to make a power play, a power struggle. A fearsome acquisition for a young faction appearing in Ryogoku and having a singles test, a power struggle? History repeats, as you can see, looking at our main event this year. In 2015, Evil made his first appearance at King of Pro Wrestling as the pareja of Tetsuya Naito in what was to become Los Ingobernables de Japón. At Power Struggle that year, Evil had his first singles contest against Hiroki Goto while Naito, reeling from a <coughs> earlobe injury, waited to pick his spot to strike. Five years later, an Evil turned his back on the man who called him back from excursion, joining Bullet Club and getting a taste for double IWGP gold. When Naito and Evil meet for the Intercontinental and Heavyweight Championships on November 7th, who will leave with the gold and the power as a bitter feud reaches its boiling point? The winner of Power Struggle's main event will likely be the man to gun for at Wrestle Kingdom 15. But as we get set for the biggest event of the year, Osaka typically sets the scene for any number of dream matches. In 2015, AJ Styles made an unbelievable challenge to Shinsuke Nakamura for an Intercontinental Classic the next year at Wrestle Kingdom. My God! What the hell? That's, that's Chris, Chris Jericho. Jericho! Chris Jericho! It's Chris Jericho! What is this? Two years on, and Chris Jericho shocked the world with a message for the then IWGP US champion, Kenny Omega. 
Alpha vs Omega at Wrestle Kingdom 12 epitomized Kenny's rise to the main event status from his introduction as Bullet Club's cleaner at Power Struggle 2014. Now, with mere weeks until worldwide eyes descend on the Tokyo Dome on January 4th and 5th, who will carve their own narrative for the grandest stage of them all? As the Empire joins the equation, and as strong figures within Bullet Club make their own plays for attention and dominance, what faction will come out on top? And on a night known for surprises, who will emerge with the upper hand as NJPW's power struggle catches fire? Find out live and on demand on NJPWWorld.com, the king of sports streaming services.